Hey guys, Travis here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a server on At Launcher. Now, if we're just going to go over and we're going to just launch At Launcher here in the file that we have it in, and we're just going to let everything load here. Now, first you want to go over to your instances or see whatever you want, whatever pack you want to get your uh, server on. Then you want to go into packs, go to the pack that you want to get your server on. Uh, some of them have servers, some of them don't. So depending on what you want to get that's uh, all up to you. So you want to click on create server, uh, pick any of the mods you want that be on that server in the optional file, and then you want to press install. And then you want to just install that and it'll install right to the file. Now to access your server you want to go back to your at launcher where you have at launchers installed and then you want to go into the servers folder and in the servers you want to press the launch server uh, executable file. Now this is going to run your server and it's going to set up a couple things and some more files but it's not going to completely run because you have to, after it finishes running, uh, go back and uh, there's going to be a EULA file and you have to go into that file and edit it saying uh, instead of false set it to true saying you accept the EULA agreement for Minecraft and then we're going to launch the server again to run it all again so that it will download even more files to, for our Minecraft servers to make sure that everything is running properly. Now we're going to go into our server properties, make sure everything's all set how we want it, set the server port to 25565, uh, make sure the max build height is 256. Uh, usually you leave the whitelist off, but you can have a on true if you want to. Make sure online mode is true if you're going to be running a uh, online server set to false if it's a WAN server. Um, you can change your game mode. Max players I usually set to five because I only have a couple of friends that I play with. Uh, and the mod D is whatever you want uh, the name of your server to be listed when you, people search it up. And then you want to press file and save it. And then you can launch your server again. Now we're just going to let this all load again. And then we're going to run Sky Factory 2. And uh, go into the multiplayer tab when it's all up and running. And you can set the server name and then you want to type in your address. So you, you can, to find your address, you want to go into your setting. You can either uh, do Control R or go into your uh, typing CMD and bring up command prompt and you want to run command prompt and type in IP config. This will bring up your IP configuration so you can see what your IP is. Now what we're looking for is IPv4 address. This is your machine's address on the network. So we're going to take that and then put it as the server address. Now your friends are going to have to type in that ad ad address but also add in the port. So that's our server and then we're going to just join in here and we'll load in. And you're on your server. You can see there that I just logged into the server. I just have to wait for my Minecraft to load up. And there we go. We're on the server. And uh, you don't want to press the X on the server. You want to make sure to type in stop and then press enter. And this will safely shut down and, and save everything on your server. Otherwise, if you just press the X, bad things can happen and uh, it, your files can become corrupt and things like that. Now, if you're running your server and it's lagging, what you can do is you can uh, right click on the launch server and press the edit button. Now depending on your your uh, PC, you want to change either the 64-bit memory or for two, 32. Uh, 32 has a maximum RAM capability of 1.2, but since my operating system is 64, I can go usually up to 4 or sometimes even more. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my RAM to four gigabytes so that my server runs smoother. Uh, make sure you do not edit past this point, otherwise you will screw up some stuff and you want to go into file, save, 
and then you can run it again if you want to but your server will now run with four gigs of ram now instead of two see my pc has 16 gigabytes so i don't really have to worry too much make sure you check uh, to make sure you're not taking too much ram out of your uh, pc or laptop otherwise uh, some things won't run properly but anyways guys thanks for watching i hope this video was informative and thank you very much. Make sure to like and subscribe or dislike if you didn't like this video at all. I'm Trivers and I hope to see you guys later. Peace out.